Hello friends, welcome to our Adobe After Effects lesson number 6 and in this lesson we would basically be talking about how to animate text. We learned about animating characters in the previous uh, lesson. In this one we would talk about animating text. So uh, to do that obviously we need to start with a composition and we can create a new composition by right clicking on this area and select new composition or uh, to do it from the start we go to um, we go to After Effects, File, New, New Project. In the New Project, we go to Composition, New Composition. And name your composition, click on OK. Once your composition is ready, you would want to add text. Uh, or if you're working on a project uh, which already has layers, you can actually add text on the layers as well. So what you would, be, you would require to do is go to this T icon on the top. You can see on the menu it has a T icon. You click the T icon and write something here. So in this case, let us write animation. Oops. T I O N. So when I typed animation, it didn't really fit in there. The easy, easier way to do this is just bring your mouse on this double arrow, drag it on the left and right, and you would see your text would appear properly. Now, if you want to move your text around uh, the composition, you can do that by selecting this first one. It says selection tool select your text and move it around and position it wherever you want to put the text. Now you might also want to change the color because I don't like pink. Pink is very girlish. So what you do is select your text by double clicking on either double clicking on this uh, layer here or you can also do that by double clicking inside this window. So one way or the other you select the, le you select the text, click on this pink icon here and then it will show you the select uh, text color you can select white and click on OK that's basically it if you want to increase the size you can do that by dragging this left or right the small um, icon here with T or you can even click on single click put in a value and then hit enter so if I put in say 300 and hit enter that would be the size of the font um, now what we would be doing is uh, creating some sort of animation on this there are there are several ways of adding animation effects onto your text. I will show you one of the ways which is uh, which is a very easy way. Um, well, I'll show you the easy way later. First, let me show you the difficult way. <laughs> I think that's easier, you know, that's, that's uh, a better way of learning things. What we would do is click on this drop down arrow next to the red uh, box there. It will come up with text and transform. We click on transform and then you would see all the options. Now, Anything which has this stopwatch icon is animatable. So if you if you want to animate any of the things, uh, any of the features, for example, opacity, you can do that. As long as it has the stopwatch next to it, it means that it is animatable. So what we would do is click on this stopwatch, and you know it records. After Effects will record that you are now wanting to animate the text. So with the layer selected, we click on the stopwatch and leave the uh, opacity to 100% for now and then we would move the timeline to how long you want the animation to be and then at that position we would change the value to what you would want the value to be so what I've done is I've changed the value to 0 now what After Effects has done it is very smart it has recorded your actions and it now knows that you want to animate um, the text in a way that when we are at the start it is uh, it is completely visible and as we move along the timeline the um, the text is uh, invisible now you would see the moment you click on that arrow a yellow dot is placed a diamond sort of um, icon is placed on your timeline indicating um, where you start and where you uh, where you finish now if I wanted to uh, basically move this diamond to the other side what would happen is have a look what would happen is your text would slowly become visible and it has become you know opposite as you move along in timeline it becomes visible rather than becoming invisible it has now started becoming visible so that's basically it um, now the selected dot would always be in yellow and the other one would be in gray so you can bring it back if you want to and you can bring it back if you want to and what would happen is your text will start becoming visible or invisible based on you know where you position your um, your uh, yellow dot now 
If you click on the um, animation icon, the stopwatch again, what would happen is it would clear all the previous values and it would uh, reset it so that you can start the animation again. The easy way to animate and a better way to animate is to select the layer. So in this case, we would select this layer and go to effects and presets. Some of you might not find this window here. So what you need to do is, uh, you know, expand this. So either you can expand it like this or you can expand it by reducing the size or height of the other window. So um, one way or the other, we basically need to get to the uh, presets. Now, within effects and presets, you can go to text and within text, you, you should ideally have a lot of, uh, you know, presets available. I'm having a little bit problem with my, um, with my Adobe After Effects. So what I would do is I would do it in a different way. I right click on this uh, window here and click on find folders. You can also do browse presets, but I would go the other way because I'm having trouble with my After Effects. So I click on find the, find the folders, yeah? And then it would bring up the presets folder and within presets I would go to text. Within text I would have several other options which is like 3D text, animate out, animate in, blurs, curves and spins. So let's see what kind of curves and spins we have. So there's a bloom flower, there's a clockwise entry, there's a counter rotate, blah blah blah. What we would do is select the first one, drag it and put it on the text. Now if you would notice when you drag and put it on the text it basically takes the effect, takes the animation effect for that. Now, as you can see, it is, it is animating the text the way you wanted it to be. Yeah. You can try two different types of effects. So it would do both of these in the timeline. So it would affect, it would do the bloom flower as well as the counter rotate um, effect on your text. We would undo both of them and go and look, have a look at another way of doing it. Now, let's assume this is our text and we want to animate um, animate the text in a different way. So let's say, um, you know, this is a text and we want two of, the, two of the fonts to come up and go down. How would you do that? The way to do that is we click on animate here and then it would show us what are the options of animating. What we would do is we would click on, say, um, scale. We want to animate the scale, so the size. Now, the moment you do that, you would see animator one would come up here and then what you need to do is click on the scale and increase the scale up or down so you would see the scale is now changing up or down and the reason why you know the scale is changing up and down just for one letter is because we might have had other options selected um, you know within the within the transform option so if you see within the transform within the animator we have range selector as well so let's click on the drop down on range selector it says start 4 and 5 offset 0 if we click the start and increase the start values it would basically mean uh, you know we are defining where to start from so what i did is i started from 0 and end to 100 which means that I will start from the zeros uh, and end to 100, which means 100% of it would work. And now, how would this work? The entire text is now animated to a larger text, yeah? And it would look something like this if you were to animate it. So it would, it would look something like this. But this is not what we want. What we want is it starts uh, at a position and then only two texts are visible um, for that position. So what I would do is I would reduce the end time as well and start time and what I would do is start I've kept two and end time also I've brought nearer to what I want and then offset is basically how many characters would you want to animate at a time or you know what is the range of offset you would want so it would basically acquire the same start you know um, start and end sort of uh, positions and would give you the effect of, uh, you know, as if the letters were coming up and going down again. Yeah. So that's basically it. Um, I would request you practice this on After Effects. Try and do all types of animations. We would do Control Z Z Z now, so that we undo whatever uh, animation effects we've given to our text. And I would request you to basically uh, do trial and errors with most of these uh, animation presets that you have in te in in the text category. This would give you a good idea of what kind of animation would create what sort of effect for your video. In the next one, 
we would be uh, talking about we would be talking more about uh, you know other sort of uh, features on after effects uh, features like animating with even sharper tools on after effects or even stronger tools um, as of now like i said practice play around and see what you can do with your after effects um, text animation tools all right um, probably in the next one we would talk about you know uh, how to add effects rather than animation on your text or on your character. But until then, thanks for watching my video. I'll see you soon. Cheers.